Hi everybody. So I did the video the other day on the pan pastels. Um, I did put some cards together, so I'll show you guys those real quick. Actually, I have a couple cards I can show you guys. Um, these are some of the cards. Um, you guys have seen the new release from Blue Night Rubber Stamp. So um, that's what these stamp sets were. So this was the one I made with the pan pastels. Um, there's a video coming up for this one. This was not pan pastels. This is distress oxides, but I thought you guys would like to see that. This one was pan pastels. This one was pan pastels. I really love the sky on this one. Um, this one was pan pastels. Um, and then this one's just one I had finally put together. This was that alcohol ink background that I did on Yubo paper. And I had stenciled this little, um, mermaid. And the background is just, uh, color bursts or what do you call that? Um, brusho, sorry. Brusho, same thing. On watercolor paper. And I just foam taped that up. Um, to give that some dimension. So some cards I've put together. I also have a couple extra cards that I can't show you yet um, that are going to be, they're already released by Blue Night Rubber Stamps, but they'll be on my Facebook page for you guys. Um, anyway, what I wanted to do today was just a little experiment. I'm being really lazy and just recording from my phone too. So I know the angles aren't great here, but I'll try to keep in screen of everything that I'm doing. So I wanted to see if I could uh, make these pan pastels uh, like a multimedia so I have some different items here and I just have a regular piece of watercolor paper. So I'm use this side. I have some 91% isopropyl alcohol. I have glycerin. I have gamzol and I have some matte medium. And so I just want to put some color down have a brush and some water off to the side with a paper towel um put some down and see how it reacts so the first thing i'm going to do is just pull some color out of the pan i have a little palette knife here and you guys can see how super velvety smooth that is and i'm just going to put a little bit of that here and the first experiment i'm going to do is just some plain old water Okay, that just absorbed right up. Okay, so because I use the pearlescent green, all it's doing is just kind of distributing that mica. Very pretty. I mean, I guess you could use it that way. Let me try a darker color so it's a little easier to see. All right, this is the magenta. Again, just using water. And it's not it's not really turning into a paint or anything. I mean, the color is being absorbed by the water. But it's not like it reactivates with the water. I mean, the water's just kind of being a carrier for it. Okay. So I don't know that I would recommend really doing anything with water. Um, let's try another color here. I'm going to go in with the purple. Let me get a different spatula because this one isn't really picking anything up. This one's called Violet. And for Violet, I think we'll use a little bit of 91% alcohol. I'm going to drip it right in there. Just a one little drop. Okay, now there's a different reaction. You can see there that the color definitely dissolved into the alcohol. Now with alcohol, you got to be pretty quick. It dries really quick. But there is definitely a reaction there with alcohol for sure. Wow, that's kind of cool. 
All right, and then to clean that up, I'm just going to use more alcohol to wipe that up. Okay, that was interesting. All right, let's go to that's our, another dark color. And I'm taking very, very little of the pigment. The pan pastels are very highly concentrated, so you don't need a lot. I'm going to add a little drop of glycerin to this one. Okay, a little bit of reaction there. Not as much as the alcohol ink, but yes, there is a reaction with the glycerin. The other interesting will be how this drives because a lot of people use glycerin like in their Versamark ink pads. So I wonder how this is going to dry. Okay, getting some interesting results here. Now your application of them, uh, I don't know that yet. That's for you guys to decide how you would use it. Let me show you what we got so far. So there you can see that was plain water. That was alcohol ink. That was glycerin. I should probably label these. Okay, so we will do gamzol and matte medium over here. just right Nance. okay so let's go in with another color I like the darker colors because I feel like they show up more Gamzol, same thing. I'm just going to do a little, whoop, little dollop, turned into a big dollop. I'll just drag some of that over here. Okay, so Gamzol is interesting enough um, in between the matte medium and the glycerin. I'm sorry, the alcohol and the glycerin. So alcohol was super thin, dried very quickly. Glycerin was super thick. This is right in the middle. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. Oh, it dries super quick. As soon as that hits the paper, it dries. So it dries like the alcohol ink. But I think you have more play time with it than you did the alcohol ink. Because this is still pretty moist on the table here. And I can just scoop over some more of that. Okay. That's pretty neat. I like that. Pretty much the same reaction as when using it with color pencils. And I'm just spraying down stamp cleaner and wiping this off. Okay, and then our final test. Ooh, as the glycerin is drying into the paper, it's making this cool texture. Um, is the matte medium, so we go in with the yellow, which is probably one of my most favorite colors. And again, this is called, oh, it's called Dari Lied Yellow. I thought it was Daylily, but it's Dari Lied Yellow. Okay, I was pronouncing that wrong. Whoops. All right, so let me take a little bit of this. Nice 
golden sunshine yellow. And we're going to take some of this Jane Davenport Matte Medium, which I haven't even opened yet. Still have some red on my brush, so I want to clean that off thoroughly. That red is really stained into the brush. I mean, like the brush is still coming out red. All right, I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. Okay, so take some of this matte medium. Okay, and it is tinting the matte medium. The matte medium is drying very quickly. Probably don't have enough there. That's kind of cool. And matte medium by nature dries very transparent, so this will have a transparent look to it. But yeah, so I'm pleasantly pleased with all of the results other than water. And even with water, you got like a nice wash with it. Um, you can mix these pan pastels with other mediums if you're somebody who's into mixed media and kind of tint those mediums. Um, to the consistency that you want. I mean, it's a little different result for each one, but overall, that's pretty cool. I think that's a nice thing to know when you have a product. Um, you know, you want to test the limits of it and see what else you can use it for instead of reaching for another product. So if you're already working with these during your project and you just want to make them a little thicker or a little bit watered down, whatever you want to do. Um, especially for us card makers, we generally work in smaller sections. Um, I thought that was pretty cool that um, we got those results and um, pretty positive ones, I would say anyway. Um, but that's my video. If you guys have any questions about anything with these past pastels that you'd like me to try out, I appreciate you guys' comments and questions. And as always, Thanks for watching. I'll give you guys a close up of the results here. So we have the water, which again, just kind of watered it down. The alcohol, which intensified it, but dried very quickly, as well as the Gamzol. But the Gamzol gave you a little more working time on the media mat. Uh, glycerin is still kind of tacky. Yeah, still tacky. So um, if you if you want to do that, um, just you remember have to give it some working time there to dry and then the matte medium gave you pretty good results as well tinted the matte medium um, is drying not as quick as gamzol or alcohol ink but in the time frame that it does to take matte medium so you could tint that as well so i thought that was pretty cool tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section and if you appreciate this video give it a thumbs up so i'll know that you guys like when i do experiments like this thanks for watching Bye bye